Hi, my name is Cassandra Xavier. It's been a while since I've posted a raw transformation log. I'm really happy to be here. Um, it's been uh, many months, and um, so today is February um, 22nd, 2012. As of the 19th, I weigh myself every Sunday. As of the 19th, I weigh 186.2. The last six, month, uh, six months, I've lost about 30 pounds, and since being raw vegan in 2005, I have lost a total of 54 pounds. I feel I have about 46 to lose. I started at 238, and I'm going to go to 138. So, um, I'm going to pan out and give you um, a view of my body, my full uh, my bathroom, just kidding. So this is me, um, and let me turn around and do a side view. So I feel a little self-conscious because in the last three weeks or so, I've gained about five pounds, I think, and so this used to be kind of like in more, but it's not, so I have a little bit more girth in the belly region. Uh, but I'm not really worried about that because it's a journey. So let me tell you what's been going on. I've been doing relatively well being a uh, high percentage raw. Um, in the past, my uh, highest uh, amount of time being 100% raw vegan was 61 days, and I recently um, I recently broke that record. So I made it to uh, 72 days of 100% raw veganism. However, in, after that, recently, recent weeks, I suppose, I realized that I. I don't need to be 100% raw, 50% or higher is fine. I've also reached a breakthrough where I have um, started doing moderation. <laughs> I never thought I could do that. So time will tell whether that works or lasts. Uh, so what's been going well for me is my spiritual work, which I'll share more of. Um, you know, just working the, the program of my healing and things like that. That's been working well. Being hypercentral draw on the raw, on the for the most part, has been, well, good. Oh, and I now identify as a raw foodist. I no longer identify as a raw vegan. Because while I choose to avoid dairy, um, I actually don't have a fundamental problem with eating meat. So, it's a little uh, controversial. However, um, what I have found is that that actually makes it more appealing for folks to eat more raw. I think it actually is a good uh, thing. I didn't do it intentionally, but as I started eating with my friends, eating what they were eating, all of a sudden it seemed like this could be good for the world to show the everyday average person that, yeah, you can have pizza and just have more salads and fruit a day and you can still lose weight and get healthier and get off meds for conditions that you have related to weight gain. And so... I think that that makes the raw food scene more accessible for most people than someone who is always 100% raw, just always drinking green smoothie. That's the only thing they do, and they, you know, they they only do this, and they have to move to Costa Rica with other raw vegans, and you know, it's just uh, <clears throat> I'm just taking my path. I'm just doing my path and sharing it along the way. Um, so that said. My challenges have been um, when things are really going well in certain areas of my life, then there tends to be a tendency to, to experience some breakdowns in other areas. So for example, in the last six months, I've, re I've received a lot of wonderful blessings and transformations and miracles and abundance in the area of physical transformation. And um, <clears throat> not that I'm at all done at all, but you know, releasing 30 pounds in six months is not nothing. It's nothing really to scoff at. I'm so grateful, um, and and I'm in and I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love, and so I'm in. I'm doing healthy relationships, and um, with you know, starting with myself and and God, spirituality, and everything else is extra. Everything else is extra. So, but because I'm focusing on being love for myself and being the one that I desire, and being totally filled with joy and everything then other things have been coming into place for that. So that have been supporting that. And um, so so there are other areas of my life that needed my attention. 
and uh, that are that I'm focusing on. So a couple of trigger spots for me have been that in the past when I've become involved in a relationship with a man, I have put on weight for various reasons that some of which are not even clear to me yet. And also I have tended to sabotage my weight loss when I reach a certain point. And part of that is because um, as a survivor of child sexual abuse, I gained weight to protect myself and it was very, very, very productive, very helpful. Effective is the word I'm looking for. It worked, you know, and so because I know that it worked and I know I, I know what it feels, it feels good to feel big and safe, you know, so I need to learn how to feel smaller and safe. And basically, so I've come up with a term, which I think of a lot, and it's thin strong. It's all one word, thin strong. So I'm becoming thin strong. And I'm thinking about people that I know who are thin and strong. So I wanna, so that's what I'm doing. So in the meantime, I'm scared. And that's good because that makes me tell, know that I'm alive. That's it for now. So let me tell you uh, about my um, projects on my website. I'm Cassandra Xavier. That's spelled C-A-S-S-E-N-D-R-E-X-A-V-I-E-R dot com is my website. I am um, a multimedia artist. I'm a musician, a writer, actress, and fine artist. I'm a community cultural arts organizer. And I am the founder and director of the Black Women's Arts Festival, which had its eight annual one in Philadelphia of, in July of 2011. And um, we're regrouping and we're going to be producing the festival worldwide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm working on. But that's when the time is right. In the meantime, it's all about this up in here. Up in here. So, like, that's what I'm... Because nothing happens without this being okay. So so that's a dream. It's a dream to be a world-traveling singer-songwriter with a band. And it's a dream to have uh, at least one, a couple of publishing deals and at least two editors working with me on a regular basis. So those are, those are my primary dreams. Yay. And so thank you. Thank you for being here. And uh, check back in soon. I'm back to... Recording regularly, I have the tools now, and, and uh, I'm manifesting more and more tools to put more and more of my love out into the world. Yeah, so thanks. Bye-bye.